Hello everyone, it's Salt Rider here and welcome to another video and this is a very very special video uh, that's been just under six years in the making, 23rd of August 2016 I started this channel and today, well actually on the 14th of May, my son's birthday, we got to a thousand subscribers on the channel which is amazing. Um, it's been a long long road, I've made some amazing friends along the way and there's so many people that have contributed to, to get into this point. Thank you to every single person who has watched the video was subscribed has even disliked some of the stuff that I've done and for all of you that have put up with me over the years it has been it has been an amazing amazing journey so what I thought I'd do at first the most popular video I've had on this channel is actually my Scorponop versus Fort Maximus video 5.8 views which is absolutely amazing and I never thought that video from just about a year ago would get that much traction it was one that I kind of worked hard on but that is my most viewed video um, lagging behind it in second place is a cyberverse task cream toy which was goddamn awful and then um, we've got a short video uh, of the core class shockwave from the bumblebee movie um, yeah some of the videos I've had have, have, have got over the 4,000 mark and that's just amazing. I never thought that that many people would watch me go on. Um, but speaking about watching me go on, I thought, you know what, rather than me talking at you for ages, let's have a look at some of the funnies and some of the highlights I've had over the last nearly six years as a Transformers YouTuber. Evening everyone, it's Rich here, aka Zort Rider, and um doing a TF Nation kind of haul video. Um, I'm going to do my top 10 purchases from Transformers Nation. So I'd say Doreen did a great job, um, even though your sense of direction is pretty shit. I mean, you couldn't even leave a fat man to a burger bar. I mean, what the fuck's going on there? Transformation is very similar to G1 Blaster. You move these legs down. Oh, crap. So even though I give the, the plastic quality a, a high... A high 7 out of 10. I'd say the build quality is well into the night. I'm going to focus on the maniacal leader of the evil Decepticons. Robot. Robot wankers, a bunch of yeah. so, who knows, we might be able to see as far as Scotland. Fit. Yeah, as in one night, you lucky people. Right, okay, I'm going to try and keep this as short as I can. So, this is going to be a review of Cock and Bow's KBB model MSS02 Master Cell Series KBB Starburst. Last night, I was having a Twitter conversation with Dorian and Borders Dude and a few others um, that are both on Twitter and on the YouTube community. Um, and I fell asleep, to be honest, halfway through that conversation. And I woke up this morning to, to see a message from Dorian, and that message said that this screamer is damaging to our community. So TF Nation is, <sighs> I wish there was someone who could help me work out how far this thing is away. Teach me how to count, and all about the personal hygiene, teach me how to count, with 23 Soul Sound Wave SG1. Uh, so 7, 8, 9, 10, hang on, so Sunday next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we're on 15 days, no, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 days. Teach me how to count, and all about the personal hygiene, teach me how to count, with 23 Soul Sound Wave SG-1. I know people who are taking three, four, five hour journeys down, that's almost as long as it takes for Wilderness to put his weekly shop away.
Sword Rider Transformers reviews and toy related chat Sword Rider Sword Rider Oh I'm going to turn, turn it Sound wave SG1 Hello mate How you doing? Oh what's up? Stop crying mate Breathe What's up? Oh, mate, I can't believe they asked Chris McFeely to do it instead of you either. Yes, I'm fully aware it's a flat tap backwards, but where the fuck am I meant to find a bleeding beret? Now, I'm sure Samuel L. Jackson won't be missing it. Um, this is a lot more than the three people that Sally predicted. <laughs> <laughs> but we all know we can't count, so there we go. <laughs> <We're all weird. laughs> but don't just take my word for it. I've gone reached out to some lovely people on YouTube and I've asked them, Optimus, truck or monkey? So, truck or monkey? I'm going to stick with monkey and I have three reasons why. One, he's a completely different character than that of Optimus Prime in Beast Wars because let's not forget, in Beast Wars, Optimus Prime was actually a truck. And for me, I can always then forgive him for being a monkey. It doesn't bother me at all. So, monkey or truck? Truck all the way. Truck, not monkey. Truck or monkey? Truck. All day. Every day. Should Optimus Prime be a monkey or a truck? Cleanliness. I have been to various conventions in in the past where people have, shall we say, not had a shower for a couple of days and kind of stunk the place out a bit. I'm not going to name names, um, but oh, just have a shower in the morning. So um, yeah, have a shower. You know, take some deodorant with you. Um, you know, make sure it's you know whatever brand you choose. I prefer Lynx. Teach me how to count And all about the personal hygiene Teach me how to count With 20 throws so sound wave SG-1 The plastic is, is almost macho Big and strong Enough to turn me on.
It's Salt Rider here and welcome to Geordie Roulette. My mate Rich has had this idea for a video where he sent us a list of five figures and I've added my own choice and then I'm going to spin a wheel and whichever one it lands on, I'm going to buy them. Now my choice is a My Little Pony Ghostbusters figure because I think Rich would really like that. And I've ordered all the figures I want from four different retailers. So what I thought I would do would be like some like daft little race video to see who gets these figures out first. And then that got me thinking, like, who is just as big a toy wazzock than me, Zort Raider? Basically, two grown men competing against who gets a series of action figures first. Ooh, what's this? Fragile, just like Dave's chances of winning this competition. Hello. I'm here to do the Borders Dude Five Community Questions Challenge Thingy. What's it? Blah. I like RC because I like how she makes my Jurassic Willy feel. This is my favourite toy. This one here, because as you can see, I'm a bit of a G1er and a bit of a boomer, as I say on Twitter. <laughs> um, yeah, it reminds me of my dear old dad, uh, God rest his soul. Last time we saw him was him running down a road chasing a jeep with Jeff Goldblum on the back. Uh, poor old bugger. Ah, this is for dad! Ah, Hey guys, it's Bumblejumper82 and what is this? A crossover episode? Finally, in the Room 101 questions, there is a wildcard round. So, my wildcard is... Borders Dude. I've got three reasons. Number one, he loves dressing up. Number two, he's slightly demonic. And number three, he's... Borders, 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 dude. You need to go home and rethink your life. My wild card is something that is really petty. Like, considering everything that's going on in the world today, stupidly petty. But it is something that bothers me nonetheless. Just a little bit worried that it might be fading into complete obscurity in the well of nothingness. Because pretty soon, no one will remember. Borders do video. I hate it. I've been thinking about my wildcard entry for a while now, and what I think I'll go with is... God, I miss it. Jesus Christ, Ed. That was brutal. Of course he's going into bloody room 101. What do you get if you cross two Englishmen, two Welshmen, a Scotsman, and a bloke who touches sea mammals? <laughs> you get episode 68 of Transformers the Show. <laughs> Cheers for that, Alexis. Okay, so it's time for us to go over now to our friend Rohan, who's going to be talking about Hasbro Price Roses and his recent obsession with Love Hunter. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas, Pat. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Goggins. Well, Pat, you need to get all these over before Christmas Eve. 
Oh, bloody hell, it's him again ordering towbots. Who orders this many towbots at this time of year? I've got to go home and I've got to feed the cat and the dog. And uh, they're not going to get anything to eat this year. Hang on, Pat, hang on. I've got a special delivery from from China. It's some more towbots. Quick. Bloody more of your fuck, mate. Right, here you are, I have a red label, I'm not delivering fuck all until after Christmas. Merry bastard Christmas, what a tosser. So thank you to everyone for watching this video, that's it. Uh, thank you for all your support over the years and let's hope that I've got a good few years left in me. Uh, one thing I've always tried to do on these videos is to poke fun at myself and to have a laugh and a bit of banter with others. Um, that's what we need to do more of these days, there's a lot of craziness in the world and we need to laugh more. Um, and with that in mind, uh, probably the most controversial clip that I ever made caused, uh, I suppose, some people thought it was banter going too far, but also I'm really proud of how I managed to animate it and put it together, and I couldn't leave it out. So I'm going to leave you with that. But until next time, I've been Zort Rider, and I'll be back. Hello, I am Jason, Prince of Leamington Spa and Defender of Organised Lists. And this is Hoss, my trusty steed. Fabulous powers were revealed to me when I lofted my sports cap and shouted, By the power of Leamington Spa, I have no power! And Hoss became the mighty battle car. Less man. And the masters of the notepad.